I got a brand new one. Not on here. That's what you want, boys. He's on my trailer. <laughs> it's 9.45, Joe is supposed to get here at 9, he's still an hour away. So, we're here at Fast Track today. Last time we were here, what did we do? We water skimmed a lot, we got a lot of shit stuck, a water slide was down, I was really disappointed. Oh, we did the tubing thing, that was fun. But we're on some new units, it's a new year. We're probably not gonna water skim because these tires suck at water skimming. But I do have a handbrake, so we haven't had an opportunity to play with this unit yet. We got us a freaking handbrake installed. I played around with it on my street a little bit. We're gonna be making a video tomorrow, stay tuned for that video. While we're sitting here waiting for Joe, Advanced Coating sent me a package. They sent me a new product, which I've never tried before. So Advanced Coating sent me their new Extreme Mud Guard, which I think is this, but in a spray bottle. And I always run out of these very quickly. But I also know that this stuff definitely helps clean up. I love this soap. This stuff I actually use on my truck all the time. Okay, we're still waiting on Joe. So I think I'm gonna play with the handbrake for a second. So I haven't really like used it that much to get used to it. Oh, that shit is so badass! The handbrake is nice! These tires are like, I've learned they're too grippy on the road. Oh, that's so badass. So I'm really curious, like, I was using it in the on the street earlier and like, I could go like this. And get it to turn around like really tight. So I can see that like an off-road application being really nice. Like watch. Like I can get this thing to whip right around. Oh, I could probably slide it right into the water. Okay, hold on. Agency Power Sports sent me out this handbrake. This thing is sick. I was talking to Cody about it yesterday. I think we're gonna get him in one. Oh my God, that's super fun. That's definitely gonna be really nice off road. I was kind of skeptical on how that water, and I was like, ah, oh, please don't flip. I'm excited to try this on the road with different tires, but just off road, this thing is super convenient for like tighter riding, especially with the 72 inch. It's way wider. I'm pretty happy with it. They're 500 bucks. I feel like that's not bad because that's the. It's a Willwood master cylinder. It's all aluminum. It's billet. It comes with all the parts. All right, I'm hot. Joe needs to hurry the hell up, dude. This thing's fun to drive. You wanna try it? Just try it like easy. Here, hop in. Flips it. <laughs> so you're only gonna flip it. Speed is your friend with that handbrake. You don't want to use the hand. I mean, it's not gonna hurt you if you're going slow. It's not gonna do nothing if you're only doing like 15. Here, just drive straight. And we'll yank it. So try to grab it and then steer, and then you'll slowly learn how much. You want to go like you want to be doing like 25. All right, now pull. <laughs> now you get it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yup. That's a lot better. The only thing I don't like is not having a handle. I kind of want to weld something right here, like for a passenger handle now. Yeah. I want to do the shock therapy springs on this to stiffen it up a little bit. Because for my riding style, it's a little soft still. But that handbrake, super fun. All right, you guys want to ride back over the truck? We'll get on the four-wheeler. I'm going to get changed. Joe should be here any minute. Maybe we'll go start exploring the park. Man, I miss my Rennie. I haven't ridden this thing. I haven't ridden this thing since Busco. Let's see how deep this is. I really don't want to get these shoes wet. Ah! I don't want to get these shoes wet. It's like the only thing I don't want to do. I'm so happy I bought a Renegade over an Outlander. Like this thing is just, I feel way more comfortable. It feels way more sporty. I don't want to get my feet wet. Ah! All right, let's go over to the truck and get changed. If you guys are OG fans, you might remember this is the spot that I skimmed the old X3.
Damn! I measured it on Google Maps. The water used to come all the way to here. It was like 325 foot. So you see like five foot and I didn't have snorkels on my lakes three. Yeah, the water used to be all the way up to here. And I got a run up from over there and I was doing like 65 and I hit the water. Right across the water. It's actually pretty badass. All right, let's go get my phone and figure out how far Joe's out still. So Joe finally got here. It's only like an hour and a half past two. We were supposed to get here at nine. It's 11. Joe finally got here. Everybody looking all hot. See, this bitch will wheelie. <laughs> all right can these kids hurry up i want to go riding all right so let me explain today's video to you guys here here's what is going to happen today we are at fast tracks it is saturday i'm happy because i worked the past three weeks and it's been shit last week's video we did a little bit of night ride then some lake ride so we're going to do a ride on the renegade today and then i invited joe and the whole group out on the lake j ball's in town that was a surprise for me so anyway we're going to finish riding this we're going to ride that around we're going Go find some mud holes because I'm hot. Then they're gonna get cleaned up, roll out of here, head to the lake, and they'll pull a jet ski. And then we're gonna go to the lake. Go meet my boy Cody out there. I think Miller's out there. I think Gary's gonna be out there. Everybody will be out there. All right, I'm going to the water. So I've never actually gone in that water because I've only ever skimmed over it. I was telling you guys about. So I guess let's see how deep it is. Apparently it's pretty shallow today. I actually have been through here one time. I was sitting in the bed of one of their mud trucks. Oh, that water is cold on my feet. At least the bottom's pretty solid. I was so hot, so this feels so good. It's like gonna be 95 today or 93. It's summertime, boys. It's fun vibes. Ride in the morning, going on the lake, hanging out with the friends. That's what it's about. Making some cool videos. Woo! But not ready for the hole. it over here it's just muddy over here it's pretty solid over here oh I hope my pocket's waterproof uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so muddy and deep right here come on go that way oh my god I found a freaking giant hole okay well, that was fun now nah, I'm good over here it's fine it's just straight the squishy mud at the bottom and that shit just swallows you up you can't even go nowhere well, i wasn't planning on going for a swim but here we are so that whole side is just straight peanut butter because right here i'm in two-wheel drive joe quit talking to the camera let's go riding i about sunk it how deep was it i was in a wheelie and up to here Oh, fancy seeing you here, crazy. Yay, we're mud riding. I really love Joe's gold renegade. The only thing I don't like about it is I can't run into him because his power coat's nice. And riding behind him because that thing's stupid loud. Oh, let me see if I can get a waterfall going again like last time. Yeah, give me. Tails is going fast. It's muddy. I kind of just want to go right into that. This looks like that black, just nasty freaking mud. It's the lily pond. This is like grossly warm. I feel like I'm riding through a freaking aquarium. Well, that wasn't that bad. I've never been in here actually. I expected all that to be way worse. The mud guard seems to be working pretty good. I should have sprayed myself. Mint, super mint. 
<laughs> <Yeah, but laughs> Maybe I put the quark there. So I wanted to get out here before it got hot. We got here early before it got hot. They got here when it got hot. Now it is hot. Oh, this is grossly warm too. This is a very natureful park. I don't know if that's a word. Like it just feel like there's definitely snakes all in here. I feel like I'm in Florida. Oh, look, a beaver dam. It's a beaver dam. They're actually stopping a good amount of water. I don't want to say a beaver. Look at the dam. Hey, I'm going to try to jump the dam. All right, ready? Woo! That was cool. I'll do it again. Hey, Joe. Deep right there. I'm a Honda boy. Splash. Oh, oh no, I'm here. Hold that. <laughs> We're gonna go let Joe take the X3 for a whipski. I'm done, I promise. Luke's been asking me to buy him a new camera for probably three months now. And every time I think that I can afford to buy him a camera, I have to buy something else or I got to put a bunch of material or money out for material for a job. So I think I need to come out with some merchandise. And if y'all would be so gracious to buy some, we could buy Luke his new camera. Cause the camera I got right now, they're like 2,200 bucks. Oh wow, this is deep. And then, so if I can sell my camera, sell a bunch of shirts, and then throw some money in. Get Luke a new camera, get some better video quality. Whoa, this is super deep. And then, in late September, I think me and Miller are talking about going on a big road trip. More details for that to come. Still got a lot of stuff to figure out, but we will definitely be visiting a lot of people on that trip. It'll probably be like the, for the whole month of September. You know it's deep when your shifter's under. All right, let's go to the track. And go let Joe take the X3 for a rip. I swear, Joe, if you flip it, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't think you can flip it. I mean, you can, but I think he's a smart enough driver not to. Oh, let's go on the slide. Forgot about the freaking slide here. Let old boy Joe take her for a rip. The worst so far that somebody's got in and done was a double roll. No, he single rolled, he double rolled. So just, so as long as you don't double roll it. Hey, I bet you I could keep up in the Defender. I think it sounds good at a distance. Alright, we're gonna take Jay for a ride. Oh no, I'm actually Brandon Price's friend, Kyle. Brandon Princess? Brandon Princess's friend, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. there. That definitely goes to rotate though. 
dude so much. All right, let's go on the slide and then let's leave. Can I rip it? Yeah, go for it. Have you ripped one before? I have a turbo razor. J-Ball can rip. J-Ball can rip. Good shit, brother. All right, let's go on the slide. Let's leave. Ooh. What's up? I'm going for furthest distance. Ow! That didn't work. That could have worked better. <laughs> All right. When I hit that, you guys go. All right, ready? <laughs> yep. Get me. He was. He was beating us. I grabbed on him and pushed myself over him. All right, ready? Set. Go! <laughs> oh, Luke! Oh, Luke! Oh my god, bro! <laughs> bro, you slapped. Did you see that right? Yeah, you slapped that sidewall. You slapped the sidewall. Right. Side Dude, look, look at this. Jump the tube, jump the tube! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Go, Dave, oh my god! Dude, we gotta go, we gotta go. Sun's going down. Sun's going down. Sun's going down. Hey, where did you get that shirt from? I just realized he had one of my shirts. When did you get that? That's my shirt. You don't, you don't wear my shit, so I'm like, I do. I only, have, ah! I only have one shirt, and it's muddy. a little bit we basically left fast track ran home dropped all the toys i picked up the spark cody was already out here on the boat now we're at the lake enjoying i think we're gonna go play some volleyball goof around on the spark maybe a game or two of spike ball and just have a good time so we're just gonna throw a montage in at the end of the day this is our saturday guys enjoy it My buddy Richards, it's starting to get dark. It was a phenomenal time on the lake seeing all the friends and everything. We got Garrett with us. If you guys like the video, please like drop a comment what your favorite part was. You like the ride, like the lake scene. Subscribe if you want to see more and catch you on the next one. <laughs>